Hello again everyone, welcome to Lillybrook. I'm going to play my six hardest holes for you today, talk you through them, tell you what difficulties I have. So that's going to be all the low stroke index holes, isn't it? Well no it's not. The hardest hole from the white tees with a card in my hand when it really counts is the 12th. I average 5 and it's stroke index 2 and I get a shot. So my average is net four. So I'm playing the hole exactly how I should be. So the hardest holes, for me personally, are gonna be those holes where I don't get a shot, where I'm expected to make a par. And with this win this evening, this will amply demonstrate why I struggle on some of these holes. Because we get this win most of the time coming up the Seven Valley and it makes this course or some of the holes on this course quite difficult. Now those of you who know the course have been watching me for months and months you might be able to guess what some of those holes are going to be but when I looked on my stats this afternoon I was quite surprised so it might surprise you too. So have a guess which hole is going to be first. Well, it'll come as no surprise that the first hard hole is a long par three. But it's not the length. I've played many a par three longer than this, even ones where you had to hit driver. Though the difficulty is the narrowness of the entrance to the green and the fact that the wind is into and out of the left quarter, which is the hardest wind for a fader. And this evening, the wind is strong enough to make me hit a five wood. And for the first time in ages, I've hit the green. And I think that's a look of total disbelief. Well, the next one is the fourth, and it goes in the same direction. Into the wind, out of the left quarter. And I've been losing the ball to the right. But in this case, I've lost it miles to the right. It's so bad, I'm in the left rough of the fifth coming in the other direction. However, I've left myself a perfect high fade with a seven iron. Perhaps you ought to play over there more often. Once you actually get on the green, it's not that difficult. But it's me losing those tee shots to the right that's costing me strokes at the moment. And the next hole is in the is the sixth because it goes in the same direction as the others. So my fault here actually is a pull into the trees on the left. And it's very easy to rack up a double bogey over there. Not today though, that was an absolute bullet. Now the green itself is huge. The problem with that is lagging is incredibly difficult because the burrows are so subtle. So you find yourself chipping or lagging four, five, six feet away. And with the green being difficult, there's absolutely no guarantee that you're gonna tidy up. Although I did on this occasion. So all the holes for me to struggle on, five handicapper on a par five. That's ridiculous. But it's that little dog leg and those two trees either side and although this is a wide fairway you have to be so precise and of course I'm usually playing catch up I'm normally trying to push for a birdie now I could take a leaf out of my own book just hit me five wood up here or the rescue but as I've been struggling on it and doing it my way with the driver let's try it one more time with the driver perhaps tomorrow in the competition I'll do something different. 
Now this is stroke 17, which is bizarre. Because I play stroke 1, 3 and 5 far better than this. And the issue is those two damn trees. I mean, look at the window I've got to play through here, and I'm in the fairway. Fortunately, this is a shot that I can manage. I've been playing this shot for maybe nigh on 30 years. And this green is very similar to the sixth. There's a lot of strange borrows on it, which means if you're a long way away, Lagging up for a tap-in is incredibly difficult. That's why it's so important for me to be able to hit that three wood for my second shot. Right, tenth green. This isn't one of the hard holes, this is one of, the, one of my better holes. I'm learning several things this evening. Firstly, after two weeks on holiday in a strange bed and then two nights coming back to my own bed, my back doesn't like it. I am so stiff and in so much pain you wouldn't believe. Second thing is you can't replicate a competition round no matter how hard you try. There's, there's no pressure here. Even when I hit a big slice and I'm miles off line, it doesn't matter. There's, there's no pressure. You know, if I triple bogeyed the fifth, for instance, in the competition for real, part it today as it happens, but if I if I tripled that, how easy is the? What the hell was that? How easy is the six t shot? And the other thing that I'm proving, and it's something that I've been aware of for some considerable time, when I'm out with this thing, I'm so wrapped up with this, pointing it in the right direction, making sure that it's level on the spirit level wondering which side of the, the green to put it for my putt or my chip. I'm so wrapped up in the process of actually making a video. I'm not thinking about the score. I'm one shot at a time. That's how we're supposed to play golf, isn't it? Is one shot at a time. Exclude everything else. But that is so hard to do. And that's why we're we regularly shoot so so far over our handicaps. Now I do with ease. I'll tell you the truth, this spring I played three Stableford competi competitions here, three weekends on the trot. My scores were 21 points, 27 points and 28 points. I can shoot 90 with the best of them, I can assure you of that. Anyway, I've got two holes to go. They're way up on the back nine. One of them will surprise you, one of them won't. So until we get there, I'll say goodbye for a little while. But certainly, I can't replicate the pressures of competition late on a Saturday afternoon when the score counts for nothing. I'll bet you weren't expecting 16. My problem here is a pull. If I go in the deep stuff, I'm three off the tee because there's no way you'll find it. And if I don't go in the deep stuff down the left and just in the ordinary rough, the angle to the green is abysmal. But right now with the ground being so hard, we're getting too close. I can't get close enough for a sand wedge up this hill. So I'm hitting half my gap wedge. When you do that, they quite often go left. But let's see if the old man still got it. Well, I don't suppose it comes as any surprise that the sixth hole that I have trouble with is yet another long par three two bunkers, water. Now when I was a six handicap, I got a shot here. So my average, my net average if you like, didn't look too shabby. Now I don't get a shot, it doesn't look too good either. And this happens to everyone and it doesn't matter what handicap you are. 
you know, I distinctly remember years back, you know, getting that cut from 15 to 13, and all of a sudden there was two holes that I now had to par that I didn't have to par before. And the pressure's changed. The hole hasn't changed. The hole is exactly what it was yesterday. Only today, you don't get a shot on it. So it all goes wrong in here. So I've changed how I play this hole. Partly through making videos for you guys is I've learned something different. So now I hit my iron and I go up the hill and then I roll it on the front. The only time I really regularly go for this green now and risk going in the water is when we're on the winter mat and then we're playing the hole 20, 25 yards shorter. So I've got an easier club to hit. Anyway, let's see if I can knock off another par. I, I, I'm not going to do this in the competition tomorrow. You know the pressures of competition, of having that card in your hand. But what I will do at the end of this video is I will post the results of that competition for these six holes that I've showed you this evening. That's played relatively easy because I'm under no pressure. Anyway, what am I going to hit tonight? Four iron perhaps. Cheerio. I bought myself a light for the camera so that when I'm playing into the evening sun like this I would be illuminated from the rear. But it looks like I would have been better off investing in a candle. Cheerio.